Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is going to be the September monthly reading. So please take what resonates and leave the rest alone. Please remember I'm reading for the collective. If not, there's the August bonus read you can look at, the bonus, the August reads out, the bonus reads out, there's weeklies, there's spirit messages. There's a playlist with timeless spirit messages as well. But spirit, please show me the message you want me to give Virgo. create now this is beautiful this can be spiritual if you're a spiritual person and you see it the way i do we're co-creating with spirit all the time and um, they help us they guide us this co-creation could be with people obviously on this material earth it could be a partner you have a romantic relationship a friendship a business partnership it could be a group of people that help you create uh, a new project at work, all these sorts of things. And this is number four. So this is about stability for me. It's creating, using all your knowledge, your wisdom, everybody collectively coming together to get the best out of a situation or environment. Beautiful. Beautiful co-creation energy here. It can be two heads are better than one, all that sort of thing. Now, if you believe, if you believe in something, it, it will come to fruition. Always remember, thoughts become things. So believing in yourself, believing in the co-creative journey, if you're spiritual as well, if you believe in something, you co-create with spirit and you can manifest it. It comes to fruition. And with that attitude, you will definitely, if you believe, have success. So it's believing in your journey, believing in your abilities, that of other people around you, the people that are helping you, Believing that this team has got what it takes, that you've got what it takes. All that sort of energy is very, very positive here. So I'm going to do a nine card spread. I'll clarify a card and give a fairy message at the end. The seven of pentacles. The wheel of fortune. The knight of wands. The five of swords, fives are about change. The four of swords. The three of wands. The king of pentacles, beautiful energy, about co-creating there. Beautiful four of wands. So we've got the three and the four. So that's, there's movement here, success. And look at that beautiful card under success. Star card. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Now this here, I'm going to start here because this is about having patience and nurturing things. Now pentacles, can, this can be nurturing your work environment, your job, your finances, your home environment. Anything that's tangible in your life, your financial situation. So what we've got here is we've got a certain amount of stability here within these in any kind of these environments that I've mentioned. And it's about having patience and nurturing these things, putting efforts into these things, believing that you can build this and nurture this into something that's beautiful and successful. Now, there's patience needed with this. So this could be working together as a team on a project to bring it to success. It could be um, you investing your money in something and you're, you're nurturing that for success. It could be putting money into your home and improving the value of your home. Anything, if you're believing in what you're doing, you will be successful. So having patience to nurture whatever it is that's important to you. Because what Spirit's saying is, Spirit is trying to help you. There's luck on your side. They want you to put efforts into something and they want you to believe like I say, they're co-creating here. This is the wheel of fortune. It's moving in your favour. Fate and luck is moving in your favour. This is the time to believe in what it is you're trying to create here and what it is you're trying to build. Whatever it is you're putting your energies into at the moment, spirit is behind you. Luck is behind you. And it's going to move you on quite quickly. So it might be that you're, you're finding that you're a bit stuck here, but what's happening, the more you believe and the more work you put on suddenly, you can see things starting to move. Nights are movement. Now, this can also be somebody coming in with news for you. Uh, 
that helps this creative process. And if it's a person, wands are Leo, Aries or Sagittarius, but they don't have to be. But this person could be rushing in with some good news. They could be investing in your business. They're believing in you. You're believing in yourself. This could be the person that's co-creating with you. Now, this could be a romantic partner that comes in. Whatever it is that's going to help you build and you're going to co-create this sort of thing. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because we've got the Four of Wands here. And the Four of Wands is about stability. It can be about marriage. So anything you're putting your efforts into, you could be putting your efforts into a relationship at the moment. And suddenly you're nurturing it, locks on your side. And you decide you want to move forward and move in together or marry. So it could be that sort of thing. It could also be anything that you're putting your efforts into here. You're moving towards greater stability. Now, this can be in your home life. It could be in your work life. You know, you could be creating a wonderful environment for work colleagues or yourself or your employees, whatever it may be. here. But it's a beautiful energy of stability here. And we've got the three. And this is about your future. It's about putting the things in place, deciding what it is you're going to put your efforts into, looking to the future to bring in this beautiful success and stability. And this will definitely come in if you believe in yourself and the journey you're on. You believe you've got the ability to do this, even although sometimes it might feel as if it's taken a wee while. OK, now. What I'm saying that for is sometimes there's been maybe been challenges along the way and there's been bittersweet victories. So sometimes things don't always go the way we would like. But what Spirit's saying is believe in yourself. Keep nurturing whatever it is that you're working on because they're trying to help you. They're try we co-create with Spirit. Spirit is pushing us on. They're behind us. They want the best for us. And it's about change. It's about focusing on the way we see things. We want to be focusing on what we've gained out of it, not what we've lost. So there's been bittersweet times. There's no doubt about that. But we've got to focus on the things that we've gained and not what we've lost here. Now, the centre energy here is the four of wands. Now, he's been through challenges, but he's decided he's taking time out here. He's reviewing things. He's recovering and he's deciding how he's going to go forward. He's looking at past experiences, he's weighing up the battle he's been in. You know, this could be an illness you've been through. It could be recovering from an illness of some sort and how you're going to move forward now and rebuild things. But this is anything that's been challenging. It's time to pamper yourself, take time out, reflect and heal from past challenges. And this sword here, he is going to focus now on the five on what he's gained. And like I say, not on what he's lost along the way now. So it's forward movement. It's believing in things. It's forward, moving forward. The Wheel of Fortune is moving you on towards success. So there's success with this situation. Now, your success here, this is the King of Pentacles. He's a very mature energy. Kings are mature energies. And he is very successful in his work life, his finances, his relationships and his environments. He has worked hard. He has got his game plan. He's known where to put his energies. He's nurtured things to the point where they've came to fruition, if you like. So he's grown things. He's had the patience. He's had the willpower. He's had the focus. And he's believed when he's been in the seven of pentacles energy, he's believed and he's, that he could create and become a king. He could create this a beautiful stability around him. And he has, because he's believed in it, he's succeeded. And that's what this is all about. And when we succeed, we become the star of our own show. So this is about hope, rejuvenation. It's about belief systems. It's about working on. We started at the beginning of the reading with nurturing, having patience, growing, whatever area of life you're focusing on at the moment. And if you stay patient and you believe, you're going to come out on top. There's a lot of hope here. You're going to become the star of your own show. You're going to have a lot of stability here. You're going to have a beautiful home life here. Okay, great stability within your home life, your finances, your environments. Hope, rejuvenation, you becoming the star of your own show here through believing that you can be successful in whatever it is you're putting your energies into at the moment. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clarify the Five of Swords energy. Spirit, can you please show me and clarify the Five of Swords energy, please? Yeah. There we go. Thank you for more. There we are. Now, 
when we focus, <clears throat> and this is about our belief systems here, when we focus on what we've gained and not what we've lost, we put an end to our burdens and we start to move forward. Now, after fives comes sixes, which is success. So when we focus, like I say, on what we've gained and not what we've lost here and we focus on our successes, if you like, our burdens end and we move, start to move forward. So it's putting an end to your burdens through having that mental uh, approach to things. Now, this can move you on to happier times. It's the start of moving towards happiness. The Page of Cups is the start of creating what it is that's going to make you very, very happy here. Now, this could also be somebody coming in that helps you. Like I say, there's somebody rushing in here that's passionate about you. This could be a romantic partner, like I said. So it could be somebody telling you how they feel about you, or it could be you having feelings for somebody else and wanting to go forward and express them. So this Cups can be Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio if it's a romantic situation. But this is about being successful, claiming all your, your blessings that the universe it wants you to have here. So believing in yourself, believing in what you're creating, believing in the, the fact that you could be successful or your team could be successful is going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness. And this is within your home environment, your relationships, your family or your soul tribe, whatever it may be for you. But a lot of abundance ahead here for you here. Uh, Virgo. So we will just take a fairy message, please, to end this reading for Virgo. Here we are. Wait for winter. So it could be the change of the seasons. You're going to see success here. Like I say, there's patience. It doesn't have to be winter. It depends what hemisphere you're in, where you're living in the world. But the change of a season, the end of a season, the next season, you're going to see a change in your circumstances. During the colder months, the Fairy Queen of Winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. So this is about believing and the Spirit will help you if you believe. Okay, I hope this helps Virgo. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.